Hello, good morning, good evening, and welcome to Big World Cinema. Without further ado, we'll continue with what you're here for. And if you enjoy this channel's content, please could you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Walking through Lumpini Park. A couple of guys there with their shirts off. In, in another park I've been to in Bangkok, I've been told to put my shirt on because it's indecent. And it does actually say, if you walk into the park here, no indecency. <laughs> but there is an outdoor gym here where the guys work out in the open air with their shirts off. So I don't think you can really complain about guys sitting around the park with their shirts off. But I imagine there are some guards on duty who will say, put your shirt back on, that's indecent. So I've just returned to Lumpini Park after four years and what I loved about this park was there used to be exercise equipment dotted around the park where you could use uh, exercise, you could work out and I used to come here most mornings and give myself a proper workout with these exercise machines. There is still a gym here, an outdoor gym here, but the exercise machines seem to have disappeared. Now, I don't know if that was part of the COVID requirement. I mean, when I came here, it was just before COVID and they were still here in March 2020. And now, almost four years later, they seem to have disappeared. Now, there's the pavements there where they used to be but unfortunately, gone daddy, gone. Who's that song by? So this is a site you wouldn't see in the Philippines or you'd rarely see in the Philippines, people jogging. This park is always packed with joggers. Females jogging as well, <laughs> not just men. In the Philippines, Filipinas don't really work out. I've said this before. It seems that Thais are much more active. If you come here first thing in the morning, there are hundreds of joggers, hundreds of people doing their exercises. It's quite similar to China where you see lots of people exercising in the park in the morning and early evening. Not so much during the day because of the heat of the day but early morning before work and then after work. So it's a very active society and as I keep saying much different to the Philippines. Are there parks in the Philippines where you see lots of people working out? So 
I first came to Bangkok in 1988 as part of a nine month gap year. Well, I just left uni, so I saved up money after going to uni and then went to India for six months and continued to other countries in Southeast Asia. So Thailand was one of the places on that trip. So Bangkok, my first time in Bangkok was 1988 when myself and my girlfriend stayed on Khao San Road, which is very, very touristy now and not a place I want to stay or go anymore really um, and then I've been back to Bangkok numerous times this century spent a lot of time here in 2008 9 then came back again spent three months here in the winter of 20 18 and also three months here in the winter of 2019 just before going to the Philippines before the world ended so I sort of know my way around Bangkok and I'm only here for a week this visit so this is going to be a, a short and sweet visit and a greatest hits tour, if you will, over the next week, over the next few travel vlogs, I will be showing you my favourite places that I like to go back to in Bangkok. And walking is always a joy in Bangkok. I love, anywhere I go, I love to walk the city and in Bangkok, there are normally wide pavements even if they are always in the process of refurbishing so Bangkok is quite an easy city to navigate around and walk around although I am staying in a pretty remote area and would rather be staying further north or further east in Saladang but I'm now heading north towards the the malls, the shopping mall area, which is probably an hour's walk from where I'm staying. Actually, I say I said an hour, but it's only, I'm here already, and it's 40 minutes. So I'm at Central World already, so it's. Uh, I overestimated. So a bomb went off here. When did a bomb go off here? It wasn't that long ago that a bomb went off in this temple complex. Maybe someone will know.
this is Central World and for a lot of the year they have events going on on this area outside where this area is completely taken over by stands there's a few malls all connected to each other along this walkway so once you're done with Central World you start walking towards the other malls down here I love these walkways in Bangkok which are raised above the ground floor. They're connecting the, the sky train runs above here and there's walkways connecting the stations. They're easier spaces to walk along than the, than the pavements on the street below. Here at BWC, Uncle doesn't charge a subscription fee like Auntie does, but buying us a coffee would be much appreciated. Thank you. So we're coming up to Siam BTS station and also Siam Paragon shopping mall, which is one of my favourite shopping malls as it has a great food court, which I'll be going back to later and showing you around.
So this is the food court at Siam Paragon. You've got the choice of all these food stalls around the edge. And then you buy your card from the counter here. You put cash on a card here, then you go around and choose your food. Then from Siam Paragon you can cut through to Siam Centre. Siam Centre is more of a hip mall for the youth, so I'm a bit out of place here. No place for old men. So from the Siam Centre you can go next door to Siam Discovery via Hogwarts. So this is another trendy mall. Too cool for school. Alexander.
the Bangkok Art and Cultural Centre, which has always got great exhibitions around the interior walls of the gallery. I've been here a few times. It reminds me of the Guggenheim. I last went to the Guggenheim in 1979, so my vision might be a little bit blurred. So if you want anything technical, you come to MBK Centre. It's got hundreds of stalls where you can you can buy anything technical. I had problems with my phone last time I was here, five years ago, and I took it here to get fixed. They, they do everything here, everything you want. Technically, technical, technical gadgets, phones, cameras, whatever. There's hundreds of stalls here, so MB, MB, MBK Centre is the place for that. Just a quick reminder to please click the thumbs up button if you liked the video or thumbs down button if you didn't. Obviously. Thank you. This place is absolutely huge. I came here to get my mobile fixed and I left it at a stall and went away and this place goes on for miles. So you have to remember where you left your item so that you can return there later. One hundred, please. Yeah. Yeah. So whilst I was in MBK, I decided to come here instead to the food court. You load money onto a car, so I've just loaded a hundred car onto a car, and you go around, decide what you want, and then eat your food, and then you go back and get your money back on what you haven't spent on the car. <laughs> Yeah, so I've gone for the barbecue pork noodle at 75 bucks. So this is the barbecue pork noodle at 75 Thai baht with free soup. You've been watching Uncle, the man from Big World Cinema. Please like and subscribe and send cash.